Hi, my name is Caroline Chole. I'm the Kerry PPN Development Officer, and I'm here with my colleague, Eamon O'Keefe, the Kerry PPN Resource Worker, to outline what a county development plan is and how to make a submission. We would like to ca thank Catherine White for providing the sign language interpretation for this presentation. So first of all, we want to look at what exactly a county development plan is. Well, the draft Kerry County Development Plan 2022-2028 sets out the overall strategy for the proper planning and sustainable development of the county. The county development plan in the main focuses on the big picture planning issues. The plan sets out the policies and objectives to guide the future development of the county. It includes a set of objectives and standards which outline where land is to be developed and for what purposes. For example, housing, shopping, schools, employment, open spaces, all areas like that are included within the county development plan. What does the county development plan contain? Well, it's actually interesting, Eamon, because it contains various elements. And just a few to highlight is that there's a vision for the county. There's also what's known as a core strategy, and this is a really important element because this acts as the fundamental link between national, regional and county planning by demonstrating that the county planning policy is consistent with the higher level national and regional policy and objectives. There's also what's known as a settlement strategy, and this sets out the role and function of each town and village how much land should be zoned or rezoned for business development, housing, retail and tourism, and where this will take place. Objectives for the provision of infrastructure such as roads and sewage and water is also included. And why would an individual or a group make a submission? Well, to answer this, Eamon, I'll briefly outline what a submission is because a submission is essentially a statement by you or your group on your thoughts, views, opinions, or knowledge on a particular plan or policy being prepared or considered. So in this instance, the submission relates to the development plan being prepared by Kerry County Council in consultation with the community. So in a submission, you are ultimately attempting to influence a decision. You are ensuring that the voice of you, your group and your community is being heard. You seek to influence the making of a plan and effect positive change in our community. Essentially, you're highlighting what is working well and what is not working. And you're going to suggest new ideas and proposals for what is needed for the future well-being of our communities for this to be the best that it can be for this and for the foreseeable six years. Remember, if you ever thought that's what they should do about whatever, this is the opportunity for you as an individual or a group to have your say. So let's look at the county development plan and making a submission. When we go on to Kerry County Council, www.kerrycoco.ie, you will see that on the right hand side, 14 submissions have been raised regarding the county development plan. So before you or your group make a submission, you might like to click onto this and see who has made a submission on what area and what they're saying. They might have the same thoughts as yourself or they could be at variance with it. But it's interesting to see exactly what other groups are thinking. Also, on the right hand side, you will see the contents of the development plan, the draft development plan. So from the introduction to the climate change, town and villages, sustainable communities, all the chapters are outlined there. And you might have particular interest in a particular chapter. So let's get started. To make a submission, you click the blue button here. It then leads you into this page and you must be registered in order to make a submission. So you click on the register link here and it opens up to what account would you like to register as an individual or as an organization? So we click on organization, you fill in the form here 
And at the very end, you scroll down, create new account. When you click on that button, you will get a link sent to your email and you click on that in order to activate your account. So for the purpose of demonstration, the Kerry PPN have already registered. So we will log into the portal and you just fill in your details there, log in. And here it welcomes you and it asks you what exactly is the short title that explains what your submission is going to be about. So it could be about housing, it could be about accessibility, it could be about community safety. So the important thing to remember here is that prepare your submission to make a real impact and that the issues and suggestions can be addressed through this process as well. So your submission should be clear and as focused as possible so that the council know who you are, the issues you wish to highlight and why you're making a submission. So for demonstration purposes, we'll put in access. as our submission title. We'll then scroll down and we will press start. This leads us into our submission page. And here you have the opportunity to have a cover letter. And again, this gives you an opportunity to introduce yourself or your group. Here you can pick the section of the document on which you wish to comment. So when we're talking about the PPN and accessibility, we want to look at chapter six, which is actually sustainable communities. Now, of course, you can pick any chapter that you wish to uh, consult on, but just for demonstration purposes, we are there. Now, if before, again, you make your submission, you wish to read chapter six, if you just click on the button there, read content, the whole chapter will open up for you. So on, under topic then we click community infrastructure services and facilities and under your comment, this is where you are going to get your thoughts, your recommendations, your ideas together and you're going to put them in here under your comment. You will then scroll down and you'll be asked about attachments. Would you like to add attachments here? Maybe you've carried out some research, some data, you have some knowledge about the topic you wish to include. Take the opportunity and add it in here and you'll see add to your submission. Underneath this, there's an interactive map. So if you, there is an area that you wish to highlight, you can use this map and scroll through and highlight the area. Then you are given the opportunity to save and review. So this page is now telling you your submission is not submitted. You have the option to edit and continue later. You can add further observations on any chapters and then you press submit. When you submit, you will get a unique ID that will then be sent to your email. So it's important to have that then for reference purposes. It's also important to remember that if you do not wish to use the online portal, you can put your submission in writing to Damien Ginty, Senior Planner, Kerry County Council, Tralee County Kerry, and mark your submission, Kerry County Development Plan. And bear in mind the closing date for submissions is the 23rd of February at 5 p.m. Thank you.